Hello, we are Team 5. My name is Lazaro Carvalho. I'm John Conway. I'm Alexander Diaz. Michael Carrillo. Our presentation today will be about Google, their history, their current projects, and their future projects. Google was founded in 1995 by Larry Page and Sergey Brin when the pair first met in Stanford University. Google is named after the term Google, a mathematical term for 1 times 10 to the 100th power. According to Alexa, a web traffic uh, service, current, Google is currently the most visited web page in all of the internet. Google is also dedicated to improving the world by making it aware of problems such as health, poverty, and climate change. Google is always constantly in search of the next innovations such as YouTube, Android, Google Contact Lens, and Google Car. Google's primary code of ethics revolves around the phrase, don't be evil. This applies to the treatment of its users by giving them unbiased information, most importantly, doing the right thing. Everything done associated with Google's work is measured against the highest possible, eth possible ethical standards with regards to business conduct. This ensures uh, users' trust as well as demand and respect throughout the world. Google initially began development research engine called Backrub, which eventually became Google in 1997. Background. By 1995, Larry Page and Sergey Brin met at the Stanford University. 1997. Google.com is registered as a domain on September 15th. By 2004, they introduced Google Local, which offers relevant neighborhood business listings, maps, and directions. By 2005, Google Maps goes live. Next year, 2006, Google launches Google Calendar and also Google Translate. And that same year, they also announced their acquisition on YouTube. 2010, they announced they will develop technology for cars they can drive themselves. Two years later, 2012, Google Chrome launches on Android devices. 2014, they reintroduce our enterprise business for Google for work. Three, two, one. Current projects, virtual reality, the computer-generated computer simulation of a three-dimensional image or environment that can be interacted with a special electronic equipment, such as a, as a helmet. A YouTube Red expansion, Essentially, the service is for people to pay for an ad-free piece when watching YouTube devices. And driveless car. It's a robotic vehicle designed to travel between destinations without a human operator. So I'm going to be discussing the Google's future projects. Google has three major projects that they plan on completing. The first project being the Google Contact Lens. Google's contact lens will be used to help monitor sugar levels in diabetics. They will provide a wirelessly charged microsensor that detects the glucose in tubes, all encapsulated within two layers of soft contact lens material. As you can see here, this is the microchip sensor and it's encapsulated in the lens material. The, the second project is Project Loon, which consists of a network of balloons operating at the edge of Earth's atmosphere. This will be designed to connect people in rural and remote areas to the internet. Finally, we have the space elevators, which will give us the ability to reach the stratosphere without the use of rockets. For the conceptual design portion of our presentation, we have chosen to study the Google car, which is an autonomous vehicle. Autonomous vehicles tend to alleviate roadway congestion and also lower the chances of vehicular accidents. The reason for this is because the autonomous vehicles are regulated and controlled by a computer rather than a human operator. Um, as we all know, computers tend to commit uh, far less errors than humans. In addition to this, because the computer, or rather because the operator of the vehicle is a computer and not a human being, uh, there is a much more lower chance that uh, traffic will be stalling and therefore there will be a, a far lower uh, fuel emissions. In addition to this, the vehicle has no steering wheel or gear stick. The chassis is made from compressed foam and the maximum speed is limited to just 25 miles per hour. The way that the vehicle works is that a laser continuously scans 360 degrees and this laser constructs a map of the topography. That information is then sent to a sensor uh, or rather to a pro processor that then reads the data and regulates the vehicle uh, behavior. So it tells the vehicle, okay, avoid uh, this uh, obstruction in the roadway or make a left or make a right at this point. The vehicle also has an orientation sensor that tracks the car's motion and balance. So for instance, it'll know um, in the strip of roadway that is traveling, it'll know the speed limit and 
it has the potential to slow down the vehicle in cases that uh, the vehicle may be traveling too fast. Furthermore, uh, there is a radar sensor at the tip of the vehicle that, that measures the distances between the, uh, the traffic in front of the vehicle and so if the vehicle is too close to the traffic ahead of it, it knows when to slow down and when to speed up. And lastly, it has a wheel hub sensor that detects the number of rotations uh, and this helps determine the vehicle's position and rate of velocity. So in conclusion, Google was founded as an internet search engine in 1997 and has since expanded to a variety of fields, particularly automation and consumer electronics. Its current and future projects continue to uphold Google's reputation as a leader in innovative engineering all the while maintaining the mantra, don't be evil. Ultimately, Google has transformed itself into an American icon through its intrepid attitude and cutting-edge innovation.